another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be BSL Season 12 Chobo League, the finals. Game two, Grast versus Exit. The upper left-hand corner, I almost wanted to call this the 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock location. We have Grast starting as the green Protoss. 6 o'clock location, we have Exit starting as the pink Terran. And so this is the thing. I finally caught up to, to BSL. If there are other replay, I have NA team battles that I'm also going to do in the interim. If there are other games you want to see me do, please let me know. Mostly because I am running out of replays while I'm waiting for the next season of BSL to start. Also, let me know if when it's doing, I'm not going to do the full, well, I can't do it here. With the color switch with the standard Protoss, or the standard Protoss red and blue, the standard color swap of red and blue, someone commented that colorblind viewers might be having an issue. So if I have anyone who's colorblind, let me know if that when we do the color swap to the, the red blue optional, if that is interfering, because I don't know that all spectrum of red and all spectrum of blue is indistinguishable in that regard, but I do want to support our colorblind viewers, if I have any. I don't even know. I'm not sure how prevalent colorblindness is comparative to... Anyway. And I won't harass you with the, like, does this look right? No, I just want to know, like, is it? Because I know that sometimes it's distinguishable, sometimes it's not. We are seeing a gateway assimilator opener with all business done. Gateway assembly opener, barracks being built along the corner there for exit. Kind of an interesting location for that. So rather than going for a front door seal or even a, a seal on the lower corner, built very interior to his base. He's grabbed a refinery very rapidly. So I am expecting a potential push out of this despite the location of this barracks. Scout is moving up to that upper right-hand corner. It looks like a probe moving in. It is going to be able to scout all of this first. The big indicator here, I guess actually it's standard timing. The big indicator here is again the SCV on gas and for how long. And for whatever reason, units get caught right there on this map. Probe wandering in. First scout for Grast. Is he going to build a zealot out of this? He does have a zealot. And a cybernetic score on the way. Probe able to get a little bit of damage done on this SCV. Now, here's the thing. This is an opportunity for Grass potentially, if he wanted to go for this. Is he going to get an S? He does get a kill. The Marine starting to try to chase down that probe. Scout from the opposite side from exit making its way that direction. The probe is going to go ahead and exit for now. Is it going to hover nearby? It looks like it is going to hover nearby. The Zealot was canceled, interestingly enough. So Zealot's canceled. Fa first factory down, and it looks like, yeah, we are going to see... Some sort of two factory build. I think. It's hard to tell with exit sometimes. He's got three SEV sticking on gas. But Grast once again placing another pylon at the three o'clock location. SEV getting some harassment done on these probes. Dragoon is on the way. But he's got to notice the lack of a third pylon here. And he has to know that this isn't just from harassment. Putting a bunker on his front, two Marines there to provide some support. The SCV pulling out. And we see, again, a similar build to Game 1. This time, I think it is going to be significantly less effective, though. Because Machine Shop is up. And I think we're going to see a second factory here. Maybe. Barracks starting to float down this direction. This will box out additional scouting information. And once again, exit, seeing the lack of the third pylon. Man, is this guy psychic or what? Moving across, finding the gateways immediately. Great play from Exit. Noticing that third pylon gone, and just, again, and he also had that other SCV, this bottom left-hand corner, finding it. Game sense, I tell ya. Even able to get a probe kill right there, on top of everything else. Three Dragoons being built. Command center floating across. So, and I take it back, he didn't pull SCVs out of gas here. Has Siege Tech spinning. It'll be a much slower command center than typical. Mostly because he's been mining, harvesting gas this entire time. He does have an SCV in position to go ahead and engage that. And he's going to have to pull SCVs off the line. But this is a, a fast siege tank and siege tech to go ahead and deal with this. Potentially, he felt like, okay, we saw that game one from Grasp. Potentially, again, he needs to be careful with that siege tank, though. Takes initial couple hits and backs off. Grasp with four Dragoons on the front. So exit this time... 
with faster siege tech and a faster tank, but a slower command center behind it. And still harvesting a lot of gas, more than he really needs uh, at this stage. But at the very least, it looks like he was building something canceled there. Maybe that second bunker. Also, siege, siege tech up on the high ground is certainly going to repel these dragoons otherwise. Grass going ahead and grabbing a second nexus. I'm wondering if he's going to go for that three nexus play once again. Or something else on top of it. So the Dragoons backing off. Command Center's on the way. What I really hope to see is this time an attempt at that shuttle play. And he even has this pocket. Man, Exit's really on top of it here. He's got that pocketed SCV that's moving up. It's going to go ahead and find that natural expansion being built. Great play. So gets the scouting information he was looking for. And should be able to wander in. And he's going to see the robotics facility. Sheesh. I'm not sure this, if this is everything and the SCV dies in the probe line. I'm not sure if this is everything going right for Exit or everything going wrong for Grast comparatively. So now Grast knows that this Nexus has been spotted. He knows that the robotics facility has been spotted. He has plopped down a second gateway that's going to put him at four gateways overall. He's going up against one factory. Exit being a little bit greedy here, I got to say, where he's plopping down a starport before... Popping down a starport before his second factory is doing research for vultures and mines, and it looks like he wants to sneak some vultures out into the field. Grast is moving a probe out there, perhaps to take a third base. Typically in this situation, Protoss does something aggressive, and he's still sitting at one factory, and he's going for a vulture drop. He's just relying on the fact that Grast wasn't going to turn around and get extremely aggressive with this. Might pay off for him, but it is somewhat concerning. Observatory's up. He does have turrets in starting to go up in these various locations before a shuttle could even be in play. Grass going ahead and going to grab this Nexus, it looks like, at the 11 o'clock location. But exit in a, once again in a strong position. Although he is, as far as the game just flat goes... Not not the worst situation for Grass. Not irrecoverable. A couple mines being planted on his front door. The vulture's starting to sneak out. He wants to go ahead and see if he can find something. Currently, Grass is about where he wants to be in supply. He's actually well ahead in workers because he's macroed very, very well. If he can get some cannons down at that location, he should be able to defend it. Exit getting a little bit of map control. Plopping some mines out here while the observer is still not in position. That observer... Is he going to suicide himself into this turret? We'll see him momentarily. Certainly pushing forward, not getting a, a good spot. The Vulture's now working on those two gateways. And it looks like that Observer is going to go ahead and sacrifice his own life. Third factory going down, which suggests we're going to see more of a long-term macro, macro play. Grass not even trying to defend these gateways, it looks like, at the 3 o'clock location. Even though I think he could do so. Dropship is up. Vulture's in. Dragoons, uh, painfully going to walk right into that mine, but could be worse. Two Dragoons down to four mines. Fortunately, it was just two Dragoons. The Observer not in front that at that stage. But Grass now realizing, okay, a little bit lighter overall. Four Vultures sneaking up, but I'll be honest, if Grass had continued with Macro right here, you might have even been able to do a front door bust, potentially, because this, this is only three siege tanks. More factories plopping down for exit to go ahead and pump that economy to follow. I still think... Wow. Yeah, an additional factory right there. Still no armory. It is in production. And just as Grass is starting to move out midfield, you've got exit sneaking around with those vultures. Was able to protect those gateways. Does have that third up. Does have cannons in place there. But now there's no dragoons here. Back at the 9 o'clock base to defend against these, this Vulture drop, and no cannons in the line otherwise. Double Stargate once again, Citadel of Adun. I think this is going to be pure carrier at this stage. And Exit able to get a lot of damage done. That's already five probe kills, a single Dragoon moving out, all of these probes trying to, f to just flee. This is a nice recovery here by Grast. He's going to go ahead and filter probes here and there. Oops, accidentally transferring some from his main. 
But going, he actually defended that pretty well. Got six probe kills, could have gotten more. The vulture, okay, that's why, because another vulture dropped in the main. It's already got six kills, and all of a sudden grasps. Probe count is just nil. Well, it's not nil. 33 versus Exit's 40. Exit also doing a great job of macroing in the background. Keeping his macro high. Not going to get a lot accomplished here with this Vulture. Not able to get a probe kill. Loses his dropship as well. In the interim, he's gone ahead and gone up to seven factories. And he's going to be able to produce units like a madman momentarily and I think he's gonna just yeah try to be aggressive he probably is gonna hit the timing here because first of all grass's economy has been very nullified is he going for the he's going for the Corsairs again concerned about this okay now he's got the fleet beacon of course that Corsair currently does nothing either way I think as it's gonna hit a timing here not like one of those precise timing kind of an unintent well maybe not an unintentional timing this is around the 11 minutes mark usually it's like 11 minutes weapons one with this sort of build rather than just a whole bunch of units moving out. I still think he's just going to go for a slower level play. Yeah, he's just positioned to go ahead and take that third. And play a more macro-oriented match. Currently, he does have even supply with Grasp, which actually puts him ahead. I think also the supply he has in Siege Tanks is a little bit better. Grasp trying to deny this third base. Moving up a lot of Siege Tanks there, though. Unfortunately, they were not in position. And Grass not really focus firing. It looks like a lot of these siege tanks. And so that Dragoon Force getting obliterated. He's having to back off. The two gateways are now down at that inside three. But Exit's gone ahead and taken that third... Well, established location on third base. Does not have a third command center building yet, though. Continuing with the upgrades... And I'm wondering, if, I'm curious if this is a feint or not. Again, it's hard to tell with Exit. Is he just positioning as though he's going to take his third and then going to go for go ahead for an attack? Or is he actually legitimately going to take his third? So continuing to push out, take down a lot of these pylons. I think that SCV trying to get through that line to go ahead. Well, no, it's an attack position. Still no third being taken. So again, I, I'm thinking this is maybe an attack here. Fleet Beacon is up. Carriers are on the way. This is the moment where if Exit pushes, he could win the match. Just because he has 116 supply out. And a lot of the supply is being actively built here for Grast. He is starting to move forward. That command center is being grabbed. Despite that command center being grabbed, I think Exit still has enough attack force where he could just push through and get another contain and potentially end the game versus Grast. Grast trying to delay this push that is slowly making its way forward. It looks like Exit now starting to test this front door. Some Zealots rejoining. Keep in mind this is just Dragoons and Zealots trying to push down these siege tanks. Level 1 weapons on both sides though, so no, no mega upgrade advantage for Exit this time. And it looks like he is starting to get position on this natural expansion once again. The follow-up question is, is how long does this does this hold with these carriers inbound? There are a handful of Goliaths. Grass is all of a sudden up 20 supply. Dragoons filtering in from the north. The Zelt's actually able to get on top of these siege tanks, but more units are reinforcing. And keep in mind, the carriers are still not here. Now the carrier is starting to join the fray. Zealot's able to get on top of the siege tanks to the south. And Grass repelling that attack convincingly is all of a sudden 20 supply ahead still sitting at three bases is warming up to go ahead and take some bases in that upper right hand corner and he's preserved a lot of carriers otherwise things aren't over yet though exit still has a lot of factories to refill that supply the carrier fleet is starting to grow though my one concern for carriers on this map is that while they can kind of go around the exterior, there's a lot of space in the middle of the map if they try to wander that direction, where Goliaths can just get a lot of damage done. Two cannons being warped up to the north. It looks like they're not going to be able to stop that vulture from sneaking through. They're not going to go after that probe just yet. 
exit, not quite babysitting it. Now looking for that probe. Nice bit of micro there from Grast to keep that probe alive so he can go ahead and establish his fourth. Good mine coverage there. Exit. Gonna have it. Gonna, can't toggle all of a sudden. Trying to grab his three o'clock location. A Corsair, uh, Corsair just hanging out here for scouting information, it looks like. And out of Siege Tanks, Goliaths, and Vultures, this is where Exit needs to have kind of that perfect... It's kind of both directions, where they want to have the composition. You want to have Zealots versus the Goliaths, the Carriers versus the Tanks, the Dragoons just to be there for the Vultures. In between and also for the Goliaths. Carriers are here to engage. They're doing some mine clearing to the north with an observer. The Goliath starting to peek forward. They are finding the carriers exposed, and that might be the death of one of them. Grass loses one carrier. And that is a big investment to lose. But the Goliath's a little bit overextended. It looks like they are going to be able to retreat. Grass still 20 supply ahead. But being a little bit sloppy with his armies at this stage. And also, Exit is starting to fill out and basically take residence in the middle of the map. Another base being grabbed. What happened here with the cancellation? I think I missed a run by of another vulture. Never mind, that probe decided to exit that base. Exit. Huh. And go ahead and try to take that 12 o'clock. Exit's making his way up there. And Grass, I think it, what he was trying to position is like, no, I'm trying to defend this base to be my next base take. And he's trying to sneak bases that are undefended in the interim to draw Exit away. But the thing for the thing that Grass needs to worry about is not just taking additional base, but it's not getting contained at his natural expansion. Siege tanks more moving forward. The Goliaths as well. The Dragoons trying to engage. The Carrier is now up to get on top of the Siege tanks. The Goliaths backing off, attacking mostly Interceptors. They do have level 1 weapons, which is very, very helpful at keeping those that Interceptor count low. And the Dragoons actually getting hit by SCVs, battle SCVs on the front. Still three siege tanks stand, three siege tanks stand, and Goliaths are now sitting just a sliver outside of a contain at the nine o'clock. This might be where Grass might need to start thinking about going for that guerrilla style and dropping a couple gateways, something else at these exterior locations. The Vulture is now wandering up in large numbers to go ahead and stop these additional bases. I don't know that Grass has enough, nor does he have a path to follow, to go ahead and defend these bases. Siege tanks slipping in. Again, squeezing that vice at the 9 o'clock location. Still no Zealots out. Sorry, still no High Templar out to provide some support size storm as well. Grass just... He's got a lot of gas. I think he can afford to actually lose this Nexus, but needs to keep those carriers high. Needs to keep just needs to macro up. At 156 supply, but I'm just... Is that mostly in probes? 62 probes. Just curious where his army's at to go ahead and engage this. Exit, as far as the army he's fielding, is a little bit scattered. He does have a science vessel out in the air. Has managed to take out that 12 o'clock. Looks like that is seven carriers out, which is a strong count of carriers to have. But they've been mostly, they're easily more utilizable. Well, it's, how do I put this? When the carriers are on the offensive, they're much scarier. When they force the Goliaths to come to them. When they have to be in these defensive positions and defend, not so much. Grass starting to peel in. Grass doesn't even look like he's going to bother to defend this upper right-hand base. His main is mined out. His natural expansion is looking thin. He does have two more bases nearby, one of them not yet completed. In the meantime, Exit's mined out at his main. His natural expansion is still producing. Now Grass finally able to get on the offensive with these carriers. And it's starting to push towards the main. Goliaths and Siege Tanks and everything trying to make their way back. Exit has two mining bases. That main actually looks pretty well saturated. Science facility getting taken out. Looks like that armory might get taken out as well. That's And I think that might be Exit's only armory as well. No, nope, looks like he does have a second armory. I was looking in the upper left-hand corner, seeing the upgrade still going. No, that was his only armory. Second armory being built. So he's got to do it with the Goliaths on the ground. But Exit looking for a counterattack. 
saying, okay, you're not going to defend with those. Guess what? I'm going to go ahead and push in and end the game right now then. And there's not enough Dragoons or anything else. The Carriers are in retreat. The Goliaths in between. Some Vultures actually able to sneak through. And those Siege Tanks, if they just siege up, they've got a good solid seal. Kind of an interesting thing from both locations. Exit also. Ooh, probes are going to come off the line to go ahead and defend the inside 12. And I think they're going to be able to take those siege tanks out. Heroes of this war. Pylons out on the front. The carriers have managed to get back to go ahead and clear out that front door seal. This is a crazy match. Everything happening all over the place. More siege tanks moving up. They want to go ahead and take out this the probe count. And exit continuing to flood, flood Goliaths up. It's like the... Where can the carriers be to defend? The Goliaths trying to get on top of them. Just tanks going one direction. The carriers trying to follow. The Goliaths ending up in between, trailing between. The, the carriers going back to the main. A lot of positional play here. Zealots looks like uh, the Zealots look like they are finding the Goliaths as they're wandering mid map, catching the midstream as they're trying to chase these carriers down. Grass in a bit of trouble though because. He's got two mining bases. He's basically two base versus two base, as things stand. 20 supply behind. The upgrades continue. Well, it looks like upgrade advantage still stands. Level one weapons, level one armor versus level two weapons, level one armor. And these carriers just have not been able to get aggressive. They've mostly, whenever they've gone aggressive, Exit has done a great job of continuing with the aggression of his own and pressing in. And it looks like he's also going to be able to sneak in. And take this additional base down. So exit now just all over the map. And that is a huge fleet of Goliaths moving in. A Dark Templar getting scanned just in time to see that obliterated. And these Goliaths, I do not think they care about anything. I don't think Grast has a sizable enough army, period, to engage this. in just Goliaths alone. Two siege tanks as an afterthought underneath. Some Zealots trying to go in and engage this. The Goliaths are a bit confused between the mix. Of carriers and Goliaths. Sorry, carriers and zealots. And Grass starting to get pinned again into his natural expansion. I think he's going to end up losing his natural. Potentially. The Goliaths actually backing out. Great job by Grass kind of using the map feature right there. To go ahead and attack the low ground. This is one of those issues where, like, I want to grab one. Level 2 weapons is up on the interceptors. Exit repositioning. This nexus is very low from all of the previous engagements. The Goliaths forcing the carriers on the low ground to engage this. One carrier down. And more Goliaths are pressing up. Is this the maneuver that wins the game for Exit? Grass is forced to engage without the protection of the map features, which is allowing the Goliaths to get on top of them. Zealots moving in, though. As well as the Dark Templar underneath. The Goliaths can't attack both at once. But that Nexus is just got a sliver of health. Another carrier down. The Nexus goes down. One Goliath and one tank left. A DT chasing that down has taken that out. This is one base left now. Positionally, potentially. Well, one base here. One expansion and additional left in this upper right-hand corner. <clears throat> Exit pushing into it. With what looks like a handful of Goliaths. He's going ahead and grabbing additional expansions. I think Exit's got this match locked. Probe desperately attacking the Goliath here. Zealot staging for what I assume is going to be one last hurrah. Grass trying to retake some additional expansions in the upper left-hand corner. Realizing he's going to lose this base. Grass's economy has been really shattered. He's been back down to two bases. Exit starting to work on trying to get a third. Carrier working on that science vessel overhead. Able to wipe that out. Some vultures sneaking through underneath. Wily little guys. And Grass now sitting at... Not half the supply, but about 30, 40 supply down from exit comparatively. And the Vulture's still able to sneak up and get probe kills. In the upper left-hand corner. 
Oof. Things not looking good for Grast. Both players settling back for a moment. Double Engineering Bay. I'm not sure that that was intentional. <clears throat> but just look at the pink on the map. Just absolutely covering everything. Grast keeping the carriers nearby to go ahead and try to defend his two mining bases. In the meantime, Exit grabbing a few SCV kills at that inside three. Engineering base, that's hilarious actually. The DT going in and doing all sorts of damage where the two engineering bays were being built. That'll show him. And that Corsair finally getting some fight. Start work, Starting to attack that engineering bay. So Grass trying to buy himself some time here. Turret is up. Two turrets up to go ahead and push that Corsair back. And Grass is once again on the move. Has some DTs being annoying underneath. Able to take out a siege tank right there. I'm not sure if Exit realizes it. There's the commsat. Able to focus that Dark Templar down. The Goliath's pressing forward. Some battle SEVs grouped up as well. Grass losing a lot of his ground forces underneath. Trying to back up and pick off the Goliath bit by bit. Loses another carrier overhead. The Dragoons are standing trying to blockade these units out so the carriers can do their damage uninhibited. But this was my concern with carriers on this map, is it is large and there's just a lot of area for Goliaths to just chase them down. Some Zealots finally able to get on that last Goliath. But Exit still sits 30 supply ahead, still has three mining bases. Oh, it looks like that uh, bottom right hand base, not mining fully. He's grabbed a fourth base, so this is four base Terran versus two base Protoss. And I don't know when Grast is going to be able to establish any additional bases. He's also 30 supply down. And well behind in upgrades. The one thing that has been going well for Grast is just in these interim periods of time. Oof, nice mines there. In these interim periods of time, Exit's had some trouble getting his army cohesive and chasing his opponent down. Some vultures being picked off. Free reign. The Goliaths stepping up. Grass making good use. The other thing, for, the other problem for Grass right now is, is he's having to be very micro intensive with these carriers. And that's not allotting him a lot of time to keep up with his macro or think about establishing something else out here. Right now, exits, I like this, manor turret. Going ahead and dropping it at these mineral locations to make sure that Grass can't grab an additional base. So exits basically deciding at this stage, I'm going to starve you out. I've got all sorts of resources all over the map. I've got a sizable Goliath Vulture Force. Some siege tanks in the background. You go ahead and throw whatever you got left at me. I'm just going to kill it and rebuild. Probe and a DT trying to engage to clear that out. Probe's been wiped out. That science vessel overhead is going to go ahead and make that Dark Templar's life short. A handful of troops trying to re-engage. Exit. Pressing the issue. EMP catching the Archon as well as the carriers. Another carrier down. Still six in the air though. I think that's six. Four. Double click here. Can I double click? Oop. Are you kidding me? Six in the air. Sorry about that everybody. <laughs> I'll have to recast this one later. Goliath pushing in to the 9 o'clock location, and that's right at the end of the match, too. That's unfortunate. All right. Goliath Vulture skipping in. Six. I don't know why the control button wasn't clicking there. Whatever. My own fault. High Templar's there. It's... Oh, my goodness. Obliteration of probes. Exit with more, the double, more than double the supply. And I'm waiting for Grass to GG, but he is relentlessly holding on. He does not want to... There's GG. <laughs> you think I should leave it in? Maybe I'll leave it in. Adds an error of authenticity. I feel bad leaving it in for the finals. I'll, I'll decide later. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We will move on to game four. Thus far, Grass putting on a clinic. This is a best of seven. 
and he is up two games to nil. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.